Hello again everybody, it's been a long long time since I did anything on YouTube I um, have some spare time at the moment so a small project I've been working on over the past few weeks I have this tank up in the shed and I have this tank up in the shed and what I've been trying to do is uh, as you can see there's no lights on on either tank at the moment so what I've been doing is I've been working on getting the lights and probably the temperature and um, the heaters in both tanks going with a Raspberry Pi okay and um, so there's the Raspberry Pi there about I think 35 euro small mini computer uh, runs on Raspbian a form of Linux operating system uh, so um, at the moment I had all this working for the past week or two but it was just stuck together bits and pieces uh, choco blocks and stuff a uh, big mess so I took it all apart today and decided I'd try and put it together and uh, said why not make a video about it now before anything I just want to say I've never done anything like this before okay um, I've never done any coding before I've never done any anything on the Pi before so it's all new to me uh, I did get it to work which shows I suppose why I wanted to do the video um, with the internet and a bit of reading up anybody can do it really um, for anybody that's watching this who has done something before maybe you won't think I'm doing it properly or could do it differently or better and I'd be glad to hear about it no problems um, so yeah there's one tank in the dark and another tank in the dark so at the moment as I say the Raspberry Pi I have two uh, relay boards here that are going to control the lights now they're two separate boards but I think I think I think I think I might go with just one board just to save a bit of the wiring okay um, so that's going to control the lights. The lights I'm using are LED lights. Again, now everything here is just put together by me. Uh, these are the LED lights I've been using. They are good, nice bright light. Uh, these are 12 volt. So the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the outputs for controlling the relays are 3.3 volt. Okay and you might be able to see the pins there if I can focus, focus, focus the pins there are what you go on to from the Pi to control your relays and then out to your lights from here okay so again I think it might just be easier to use the four way board rather than the two two boards I have already these lights are 12 volt so again that's why I'll have to use the relay so the Raspberry Pi will control the relays the relays will switch the 12 volts to the lights and oh good um, what else am I using also this temperature sensor this is going to be a localized temperature sensor it won't actually be mm, it won't really be controlled by the Pi it kind of controls itself uh, but as you can see there's a relay on that so I'm going to bring that back to the Pi and that will tell me if the temperature goes too low it will bring up an alarm and I'll know about that too now I'll also have these temperature probes one in each tank and they will be connected to the Pi and they'll read the temperature back to the screen Okay, so I have some code written already. Uh, if anybody's interested, I can put that code up. Uh, the other thing I'll be doing that I managed to sort out last week is uh, it'll be sending the temperature, and hopefully, I haven't done it yet, 
but hopefully whether the lights are on or off I'll be sending it back to this which is another website for the internet of things it's called uh, thing speak uh, if I can bring it up uh, my channels and this will tell you before I disconnected everything um, it will tell you show you a plot of the temperature in the tank and then again you can read that on any computer log into your account and wherever you are in the world basically you can see the temperature of your tanks now as I say I want to do this so it will tell me whether the lights are on or off as well it is also an Android app so you can see on your phone so yep um, make a start I suppose and um, and you say any comments anything you uh, any ideas leave it below and I'll get back to you okay thank you